Yes, people, what is happening? Welcome back to Lily White Lane. France won, Germany nil in what was a massive, massive three points in Group F. For France, I'd say, it's an own goal from Matt Hummels did win them the game. Wow, wow, wow. What an entertaining game this one was. I thoroughly enjoyed watching it. And a big, big win. A massive win for France against a real good side in Germany in their group. As I say, the hype surrounding this game, in my opinion, lived up to the expectation. As I say, it was a real entertaining game at points. It was a little boring, as I say. But most of the time, it was real, real entertainment, as I say. And for those last... 20 minutes it was absolutely brilliant as I say so without further ado let's go through some of the talking points of the game so in the first half it is an own goal from Germany as I say and it gives France the 1-0 lead but the reason France won this game right and the reason they got this goal and the reason they won this game in my opinion was because of the man of the match performance from Paul Pogba what a performance I mean Paul Pogba absolute class absolute class today right absolutely brilliant constantly i say constantly providing some brilliant brilliant passes in that game i say to the likes of killian mbappe and carrying benzema he was so so good some of his balls as i say and uh look that first ball as i say on the outside of the boot you know to mbappe what a ball it was i say and he crosses it in and it's an own goal from germany and look it was a quality quality performance from france for those first as I say for those first 20 minutes, I thought France were going to absolutely demolish Germany. I thought this one could be a 7 or 8 nil affair. But as the game went on, it didn't turn out that way. Germany sort of picked themselves back up. And this is one thing you can always expect from Germany. You never know what you're going to get in terms of the scoreline and the performances. But you can always expect passion. Always passion. They'll never... You know, they'll never be a team to absolutely get, you know, demolished and thrashed. And they proved that again today. And look... With the offsides, this game definitely could have been 3 or 4 nil. But at the same time, it could have been 3 or 4 nil to Germany with some of the chances that they had that they should have put away. You know, the Gnabry chance in the first half, what a chance it was, probably should uh, should have put that one away. They had some good chances as well, in, uh, as well in the last half an hour of the game. So look, unlucky for Germany, I think, you know, with that last half an hour, they at least deserved a point because they were playing real real good football for that last half an hour so they at least deserved a point based on that as I say but France overall the better team they just showcased you know how good they are they really did showcase today that they're a team of all-stars you know that midfield could you ask for a better two holding midfielders than Paul Pogba and N'Golo Kante and then Benzema on the form of his life up top as I say the best player arguably in the world Kylian Mbappe there as well they got such a good team France right such a good team and as I say they did pick up a massive three points and look they honestly could win this tournament undefeated that's how good France are as I say and look what a team what a team it'll be very very interesting to see you know Germany um Germany facing up against Portugal as I say and up against Hungary can Germany get out of the group that is one of the big questions now obviously they definitely could uh could pick up a third um a third place finish but you have to look at it as a third place finish may not be good enough. You know, if they get three points and uh, I say the four best, um, the four best third place teams go through, will Germany have enough? Will those three points be enough? I say against some of the other teams in other groups who probably picked up more points against these your position, and that's what makes it so so interesting. It all comes. Uh, all comes down to goal difference and I think the Germans although they'll be very very frustrated about this result at least they didn't concede two or three like they could have with the offsides um with the offside flag being shown to a lot of France's goals but look I can't wait to see Germany Portugal I can't wait to see Germany Hungary I can't wait to see France versus Portugal I see there's some cracking cracking games in this group that are going to go down it'll be very very interesting to see the way that it does end up but I do think France will go through. I definitely think France will go through. Portugal, I say, picking up the three points that they needed to pick up against Hungary. Arguably the easiest opposition in the group. And wow, what an entertaining game. But as I say, man of the match, I thought Kante was good. Off the ball, a lot of stuff. When you notice what he's doing, he was very, very class today, in my opinion. Benzema did well. Some of Mbappe's runs, as I say. And look, he was very, very unlucky not to um not to get that assist, as I say, for Benzema's goal, which I thought 
was on side when I first saw it, as I say. And look, he also scored that goal, which got disallowed. Some of the runs he actually made, he nearly got a penalty where Hummels tackled him, as I say, from another ball from Pogba. But speaking of Pogba, man of the match today, Paul Pogba. Some of his crosses, some of his balls up top were absolutely brilliant. He was so, so good today. With that, with, you know, without a doubt, man of the match. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button as, as hard as you possibly can. And as always, come on, you Spurs. And as always, come on the Euros.